There are many security scanners available that almost all do the same job. The problem with pretty much all of them is that they use their own definitions that cannot be changed easily by a user. With that in mind, Project Discovery Team has created Nuclei. Nuclei is a vulnerability scanner in which it's easy to add your own definition using YAML templates. This feature has caused Nuclei to skyrocket in popularity. In this video, we will show you how to use Nuclei, how to use its rate limiting features, how to use its filtering features to filter templates, and we take a quick look at templates and work programs. Nuclei supports HTTP, DNS, TCP, and files. Because we can add templates ourselves, we can use Nuclei to perform tedious tasks that are repeated on each engagement. Items like checking for DNS records, headers, or known files can be completely automated once a work program is made. On Kali Linux, Nuclei does not come installed by default. We can install Nuclei using apt, or we can download the latest version directly from the Git repository. Once we have installed Nuclei, we can run it with the command Nuclei. If it's the first time we run Nuclei, it will download the template database from the internet. To manually update the template database, we use the UT flag. Every couple of days, the template repository updates and we can download new or updated templates. To set a target for Nuclei to scan, we can use a U flag followed by a URL or host. If we want to supply an entire list of URLs or hosts to scan, we can use the L flag, followed by a file containing a list of URLs. Each URL in the file must be on a separate line. Before we start Nuclei on a target, we must be aware that without any flags, Nuclei can easily trigger firewalls or DDoS protection. This could mean that in the worst case scenario, we are blocked by a large content provider such as Akamai and are unable to reach any content hosted by them. To prevent this problem, we can limit the speed at which requests are sent to the server and we can limit the templates that are run on the server using filtering or exclusion rules. To limit the speed of the request, we have several options. The rate limit flag sets a limit to the request per second. This value overrides the other two values that can be set. One of these values is the bulk size flag. This sets the amount of parallel connections that Nuclei is allowed to make. The other option we have is the C flag. This flag sets the maximum number of templates that are allowed to run in parallel. We can use filters to limit the templates that are used. Nuclei supports several filters. Filters based on tags can be used using the tags flag followed by a string. This selects all templates containing the selected string. To find out what tags you can use, we can look inside the templates themselves. The templates are by default downloaded to the local Nuclei templates inside your home folder. We can search using severity with the severity flag, followed by a string value. This uses the severity that is entered in the template. We can select from the following options. Info, low, medium, high, and critical severity ratings. The final filter is the filter based on authors. This filter can be used with the authors flag, followed by a string. To prevent certain templates being run on a target, we can edit the config file. This file is located at the local Nuclei folder in your home directory. When we open the file, we can see a section at the bottom of the config file named Exclude Templates. In this section, we can define the templates we want to exclude from the scan. We can find these templates by using the TL flag. This will display all the templates that are installed. These templates are sorted by category. We can add a category and, if needed, the specific template to exclude. When we run Nuclei without any flags, all the templates except the templates in the exclude section of the config file are run. If we want to specify specific templates that we want to run, we can select the template we want to run with the T flag followed by either a template file or a directory containing templates. If we need to run a set of templates in a certain sequence, we can use a workflow file. This file contains template names and conditions that need to be present before the templates are run. We can select a workflow file using the W flag followed by a workflow name. Nuclei comes with several workflows by default. 
These can be found in the same folder in which the templates are downloaded. When we look at workflow file, we can see it's a collection of templates and conditions that trigger the templates. We can look at the documentation, which contains many different examples that help explain concepts, which allow us to quickly make templates and workflows that we can use in our engagements. Because of the size of the documentation, we will leave reading it and making templates and workflows up to the viewer. If you have any questions or you want us to make a follow-up in which we show you how to make templates and workflows, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned something, please leave a like, comment or subscribe and thank you for watching.